This past week I've been trying to get myself back up to speed with Godot. To do that I've been following my own video tutorials and looking through some of my previous projects. And one of the things that always got to me about Godot was that whenever you create a character controller, the character would always slide on a sloped surface. Now there's various ways you could go through and fix this depending on what version of the Godot engine you were using. If you were using Godot version 3.1, the stop on slope parameter would actually stop your character from sliding back down the slope. However, from version 3.2 onwards, that no longer seemed to be the case. With Godot version 3.4, the stop on slope parameter still doesn't appear to work, whether or not that's something to do with my character controller's code, or if that parameter is just still broken, I'm not entirely sure. However, after doing a bit of searching, I did find a video tutorial by 3Dude, I'll leave a link to him in the description below, that does seem to solve this problem in Godot 3.4. Before we look at the solution, let's quickly take a look at the problem. I have this simple scene here with a character controller in the center and slopes of various degrees. If I press play, you can see that whenever we walk up a small slope and then we let go, we slide back down again. For the very large slope, we can't get up this at all. For the medium slope, we can get up it very slowly. It's a bit of an effort and then we slide back down again. For this little ramp and platform here, again, we can move up it, but if we let go of the movement keys, we slide back down. And you, again, you can also tell that the movement up the slope is a lot slower than when you're on a flat surface like this. So again, before we look at the solution, let's quickly look at the code that we already have. I'll head on over to the script tab here and just make this a little bit bigger for you all to see. It's a very standard first person controller script. And down here we have velocity.y minus equals gravity. We have our gravity value at the top here, which is 0.98. And all we're doing is applying this every single frame. Now the solution to this is quite simple. Instead of minusing our gravity from the y component of our velocity vector, what we're going to do is create a new variable here, and we're going to call it gravity underscore resistance. And this is going to equal the floor normal. So we say get floor normal. It's the floor normal if we're on the ground, so is on floor. Otherwise, we're going to say vector3.up. So what we're saying here is, if we're on the floor, get the character controller's current floor normal. Now that's either a vertical line up, or if you're on a slope, it will be the normal of the slope. Once we have that gravity resistance vector, what we're going to do is say velocity minus equals our gravity resistance multiplied by our gravity coefficient, which is that 0.98. And then we can simply remove the next line that removes our gravity from the y component. And now if we press play and we head on over to our small slope here, you can see that we can stand on this slope and we no longer slide down. And the speed that which our character moves on the slope is exactly the same as it would be on a standard floor. If we come on over to the large slope here, you can see that we don't actually go up this. And the reason for that is that the move and slide function itself has a maximum slope angle. And this one exceeds that angle. So our character will actually just move and slide along its wall as if it were a vertical wall, which is exactly what we want. For the medium slope here, we do want our character to be able to go up this. So our character can now walk and stand on the top without sliding back down. Again, if we head on over to this ramp here, you can see that we can stop on this slope, no problems at all. We can walk over the top and back down again, no issues. And there we have it. I just wanted to share this with you, a very simple solution to stop your character sliding down slopes in the Godot engine. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and hit the little notification bell to be notified whenever I release new content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.